In my opinion, the leading technology companies have to contribute um, to fight global warming by developing new products and services which go in the right direction of green technologies. We constantly have to invest in, in research and development. I don't think it's a contradiction to develop green technologies which contribute to fight against climate change. What makes Foyt special is that we've been in place for 150 years. Foyt was founded 1867 already as a technology company. The company never thought in quarters, always long term. So the long term orientation was, um, I think, one of the, the traits and also advantages of Foyt. Uh, Foyt was looking also 150 years ago at sustainable technology. So sustainability is not just a, a trend for Foyt, it's based in the DNA of Foyt. And makes us long-term oriented with these technologies that we have. This year, 2022, um, Ford will produce CO2 neutral. So we put a lot of uh, investments in energy to achieve this goal. We invested in new technologies. We optimized our production processes. Uh, we made solar panels on our, on our factories. So we did a lot of investments, a lot of things to improve our own CO2 footprint. We have three divisions. We have the division hydropower, we have the division paper, we have the division turbo, and all three divisions are positioned to, to live the DNA of it. I mean, hydropower is one of the renewable energies which are very important, which are becoming more and more important besides solar and wind, so it's a very environmental friendly source of energy. Paper is becoming a more and more uh, ask um, resource for board and packaging. It's replacing more and more plastic packaging. In the last division, Turbo, we've been very strong in mechanical and hydraulic drivetrain systems, but now we're moving more and more into electrical. So in all three divisions, we are living the DNA of sustainable technologies. Foyt Hydro actually started in the hydropower industry very early and was one of the pioneers in the segment. Uh, many of the key people in the history of hydropower worked for Foyt and that resulted in Foyt being at the edge of technology since more than 100 years. We also expanded globally very early, so we're, we're active almost everywhere where you have hydropower. You see that hydropower really enables developments. To give you an example, Last week I was in Kinshasa where, where they're doing a development for hydropower for a mine and by ensuring that we can get capacity increasements compared to the old equipment installed, we can also ensure more electrification and thereby more development of industries in the region. The energy transition actually fits for it very well and especially hydropower plays an important role because it's dispatchable and it's a clean form of energy. So by developing new kind of turbines, for example, fish-friendly turbines, pump storage turbines, we play an active role and try to play our part in this, this important transition. For paper's positioning as a full line supplier, we contribute to sustainable paper making. We provide everything for one single source and our innovation and the design to help to our customer minimize the carbon footprint as well as reduce water fiber consumption in the process. Our environment friendly solution increase production efficiency and lead to a significant cost reductions. Technology is the heart of the transition. The most important topic for today, the paper industry is to reduce energy consumption and CO2 emissions. The pathways to decarbonization consist of process optimization, disruptive technologies, digital solutions, as well as energy efficiency. Our customer who adapt and respond to the change will profit from this solution offered by Foyt. Foyt has been leading the industry by focusing on the digital technologies that empower papermakers. We believe there is a huge potential for papermaking 4.0 and 
digitalization to make the process more efficient and sustainable. We drive mobility, may it be on land or sea, may it be road or rail, and uh, here we drive always for maximum efficiency. We're just about to launch our next generation for the well-known Diva automatic transmission for buses. This comes with an optional mild hybrid solution and this will generate a, a diesel saving of more than 10%. We also have launched recently the Ford Schneider propeller as an electric integrated solution and this will make sea transportation greener. And last but not least, with the Ford electric drive system, Ford Turbo is a performance leader when it comes to e-buses across the world. As I already mentioned, we are in a truly mobility revolution. And, and Ford is really looking outward and how can we shape and support our customers in tackling this revolution. And sustainable drives are definitely the trend of the future. And there is not an option whether we want to go there or not. We have to go there and we have the know-how to go there, how we can transform the drivetrain of the past from combustion engines to alternative drives. Uh, and may they be driven by batteries or by hydrogen. For us, all offer an opportunity and we have already won platforms in both technologies, hydrogen as well as pure electric drive systems. I think the effect that leading technologies companies can have on society is that they constantly invest in R&D, that they develop new products, new technologies, new services, which help uh, our customers and the whole economy to fight global warming. So we continuously have to invest in the development of these new green technologies. The DNA of Freud is sustainable technologies for future generations. Freud has always operated with sustainable technologies. Freud has always believed in sustainable technologies and Freud has always developed sustainable technologies like hydropower or paper machines or electric drivetrains.